May I proceed? Yes, ma. Okay. Good evening, Forever Family. You're welcome to tonight's call. My name is Chinwe Dada, and um, I'm here to share a few things with us on business skills. On business skills. Um, I just hope that um, we, we get some value today. Well, I believe we will get some value today. You know, this innovation that we, we have, you know, to, you know, increase our training, you know, um, opportunities. I think it's a, a, a giant step in the right direction because really the more knowledge we gain, the more value we can add to our business. The more value we add to our business, the, the better the outcome, the better our, our profits, the better our volume, the better our CCs. So that we are here tonight to learn and to, to learn from one another. I think it's one very good investment that each and every one of us can do for our business. So tonight, the business skill I want to share with us is the skill of promotion, promoting your business. So I have here 10 reasons why we need to promote our business. Um, I, I'm sure everybody on the call is seeing the slides. Okay, I would like to just get some form of feedback if you can see my slides. I think Kelechi has already confirmed that anyway. Okay, so when we talk about um, promoting our business, what do we really mean? Promotion is the art of marketing, the art of uh, advertising our products and our services. Somebody once said that doing business without promoting it is like winking in the dark and expecting people to see you. You know, when you're winking your eye in the dark, you're winking to get somebody's attention, but everywhere is dark. You'll be making all the efforts, but nobody's really seeing what you're doing, okay? So your, your business is in the dark if you don't promote it, if you don't market it, if you don't tell people about it, if you don't share your products and opportunity with people on a daily basis, you are doing your business in the dark. Let me put it that way. So you pro when you promote your business, you are shining the light on your business. You are letting people know that what you have is a big deal. You are letting people know that you have value, that you have solution. Because you know, I, I once heard a business coach say that if you want to make money in this life, just solve problems. Once you can solve problems, you will have money. And I beat my chest to say that Forever Living Products solves problems. For over 46 years, this company has been solving problems. We've been solving problems of health, and we've been solving problems of a better life. You know, so, you know the, 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 one of the company's slogans is that one of the number one causes of sickness is even a, a, an unhealthy pocket. Because when, you're, when you don't have money in your pocket, that can even lead to several sicknesses. So that's why the company ensures that even as they are dealing with your health, your physical health, they are dealing with your financial health as well. These are the problems that our company solves. So we are solving problems. So if we are solving problems, we should be making money. But one of the reasons why you're probably not making as much as you should is because you are not promoting this business enough. You're not promoting this business enough. How many people have you shown your business? How many people are seeing your business? How many people have your business at the top of their mind? Especially in Nigeria, people's mind are full. People's head is full. People are, their head is full of problem, of challenges, of inflation. Everything is going up. People are not happy. Okay. So how will your business be at the top of their mind? They have so many things in their mind already. So the only way you can keep your business 
at the top of their mind is to promote your business. You can't expect that you've mentioned it to somebody before. You've talked about it now and then. You've, you know, you suggested it here and there to one or two people and then you're doing business. No, your business is still in the dark. You must promote your business. My slide said that when you stop advertising because you want to save money, it's like stopping your watch because you want to save time. So tonight we're essentially talking about the art of promoting through adverts, through advertising our business. Because sometimes it's not enough to just word of mouth, you know, talk to people every day, which is also very, very important. In fact, that is the foundation of, of any network marketing. You must talk to people. You must share the products, share the opportunity on a daily basis. But an elevated way of doing this, in addition to what we have always been doing, you know, is by advertising the business. And that's what I mean when I say promoting. I'm talking about advertising. So if you're looking at money, which is why you're not advertising your business, is like you're you're trying to save money, you know, you know. Sorry, is 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 like trying to stop your watch to save time. So nobody that is 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 of their right mind will say they want to stop their watch because time is going. They don't want the time to go. That's the same way. So if the money you, you think you're saving by not by not spending it to advertise and make noise about your business, shine more light on your business. That money you are saving is is at the end of the day you are you are losing out because the little you spend to advertise and promote your business, it can give you very very large returns beyond your wildest imaginations. So let's look at 10 reasons why we must promote our business. When you promote your business, when you do adverts, when you advertise, it will co cause lead generation. Lead generation simply talks about, you know, being able to get um, um, potential customers into your business, potential customers. So it's the process of identifying and cultivating potential customers. When you advertise, especially on social media, it will bring you leads. Customers that you, you never would have met on a good day, you will meet them through an advert that you do. A customer that you never have been able to access before now. Many of us, most of our customers and our prospects are people we know in church, family members, we see them in school run or we meet them in an eatery or, you know, but, you know, if you have, if your only way of sharing your business is through your physical contacts, then you are limiting your business to very, very small. Listen, guys, the game has changed in doing business. The game has changed. Business is no longer only analog. Business is now digital. The sooner we all embrace digital business, the faster we can catch up and even overtake. Because if you are not doing digital business, you are lagging behind. So I'm even talking of you trying to catch up right now. If you are not doing a digital business, you really, really need to catch up. Because the world don't leave you, they go. They don't, they go since. They don't, they front, they go. So imagine that if you can promote your business digitally, it can give you leads. Potential clients, potential customers that you would ordinarily never have met. In Worry There, we've seen uh, a lot of our, uh, our, our team members making sales in Lagos on a daily basis. They make sales in Lagos. They make sales in Ilori. They are signing up people in Cameroon different parts of Nigeria and other parts of the world. If they were doing the business without probably doing adverts or reaching out, you know, digitally, adverts, you know, digitally, they never would have met these customers. So this is one, one thing that we're really trying to promote in our location in Worry, you know, trying to encourage people to do adverts digitally. That way it gives you leads potential clients, potential customers will 
join your business through adverts, digital adverts. So it helps you to generate leads. That's what, what I'm trying to say. It helps you to get potential buyers and potential um, people to join your business. So one advantage of promoting your business, especially digitally, is that it gives you potential customers. The next one, of course, to attract more customers, which is like what I said before, okay? You get to attract more clients and more customers when you do digital adverts, digital promotion. You get more customers. They might not be leads in, because let me differentiate leads and customers, you know, just for the purpose of this class, even though they can mean the same thing. But when we talk of leads, most times we're probably looking at people that will join the business, people that will want to, uh, you know, become part of your downlines and potentially, you know, join your team. Okay, so doing digital adverts will give you those potential downlines. And then this second slide is telling us that it will also give us customers. So customers might be internal customers that join your business or external customers that just want to buy the products and use the products um, you know, for themselves or for any other purpose. So that's the second reason why you must do digital promotion for your business. You get much, much more customers than you could have gotten if you were doing it physically. You get much, much more if you do digital promotions. Okay, a lot of us are already online. We are already on Facebook. We're already on Instagram and all of that. And we are posting. Some of us are learning how to make posts, you know, try and post something every day, try and post something on WhatsApp, post something on Facebook, post products, post content. Some of us have started that. It's good, but you will get much more traction when you also do adverts. So not when you post consistently, every now and then do an advert. Because when you post, let me just use some speculation. Let's assume you post and 200 people see your post based on the people that follow you or based on people that come across your page. When you do advert for that same post, you might reach 5,000 people as opposed to your ordinary post that will just reach 200 or 250. So you can see that that money you will spend on the advert is giving you so much more traction. You just be like person where they bicycle and another one where they use private jets. Uh, I can, I'll be switching to Pigeon once in a while. No vex, I live in worry. Okay, so this is what advert does. It gives you a whole lot of traction, a whole lot of speed in your business. So another reason why you must do adverts is that it gives you more effective marketing. You can market more effectively. And of course, when we, we say marketing, we're still talking about the same thing. You get to reach a, a larger market across the world. You're no longer limited to your geographical location. You know, in, in our business, some people actually travel to different locations to market, but many of us don't have the ability to do that, you know? So even if you're traveling to locations, you're going to different countries or different states to market, it's excellent. But I still assure you that you will make much more, you will cover more ground online, especially when you do digital ads. So your marketing is more effective, is more targeted. You know, when you are doing an ad on, on online, they will even ask you to target the location you want this ad. You want only people in Lagos to see your ad, you want people in in uh, in Cameroon. You want people in 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 uh, Abuja. You target the audience you want. They can ask you the age grade of people you want. So it's amazing the the potentials that you can tap by doing online ads, online promotion, digital promotions. Okay, so you have more effective markets that you can reach. It's just the difference is just too much to, to, to compare when you're using digital promotion or, and when you're doing the uh, analog one. Even these days, doing advert on TV and radio is not even as effective anymore because everybody is on their phone. So if everybody's eyes are, are somewhere, put your business in their view 
remember I talked in the beginning about letting your business be top of mind. Let your business be top of mind. Let, as they are scrolling, let your business pop up. The more people that business is popping up to, the more eyeballs are seeing your business, the more effective your marketing is. All right. So you have to try and do digital promotions. Reason number five, I think. It helps you to clear inventory. As business owners, many of us have inventory. We have stock of products that we have bought. Some of them are expiring on us. You know, how, what are you doing about this? What are you doing about this? You have Lyceum Plus or, or Fields of Green that you have had, you know, in your possession for some months and nobody is asking for it. Your regular customers are not buying it. Go and research on, on fields of green. Get all the amazing benefits of fields of green. Put a post out there and sponsor that post. Spend money and sponsor that post. Promote that post digitally by doing an advert on that post. It will reach so many people. Listen, there is somebody out there that will want those benefits you just posted about fields of green. There is somebody out there that will reach out and say, wow, I saw this thing. Did you say it does this and does this and does this? How can I get it? So it helps you to clear your inventory. If you have inventory, you have stock that you, know, you, you are not able to clear. Because as business owners, we must have stock. It's not every time when your customer, your customer says, do you have, you say, okay, let me go and see if there isn't available. No, you must have at least some stock. You should have. You should have, so that anytime you have an order, you are able to fulfill that order. So when you do advert, it helps you to clear your inventory. Somebody once said that even if it's biro, you are selling big biro, and every day your biro is popping up in people's screen. One day, one day, somebody will send you a message. This is your biro. How much I want? Me, well, biro is everywhere, but because they are they are seeing it, somebody. There is an audience for you on social media. Whatever it is you sell, there is an audience. There, is, there are people that want that thing that you're selling, no matter what it is. Even people that are selling rubbish, there are still people that will patronize it. Not to talk of you and I that is changing lives with the kind of business and products that we sell. Okay, so, so by all means, please clear your inventory by doing sponsored promotions digitally. It gives you competitive advantage. Our business is a very competitive one. First of all, we have competition even within our business and we have competition outside our business. So many other um, um, nutritional um, supplement companies all over the world, in Nigeria, they are in their, in their hundreds, okay? But if you are able to spend time and make effort to put your own out there, especially when you show the value and you show the benefits with the testimonials and all of that, you will have a competitive advantage. I once heard somebody say that money always moves towards value. Once you have value, once what you have has value, money will move towards it. Do you know price is, no, is not really an issue as long as there is value? This price we are complaining about is too expensive. It's too expensive. If people see value, they will spend the money. They won't mind the price. I always ask people, how do people go for comedy show and spend one million on table in this economy? They are doing one very soon. I'm sure because the person doing the comedy show is always on social media doing adverts. Me, I don't go for comedy show. But because she does advert continuously, even me, I have seen the adverts. Me that I'm not even interested. I've seen the adverts, okay? So if people will still go there tomorrow and spend 1 million on a table, that means they see value in that. So why would they not see value in what we are selling? No matter the price. Alo alo aloe vera gel is almost 30,000 or it's so, so if they can see the value, they will buy it regardless of the price. And one way you can show the value is by ensuring that you keep your business on the top of people's minds while you show them 
all the benefits that they have, you know, in taking those products or in joining your business. So doing adverts keeps you at a competitive advantage, all right? Of course, it increases demand for your products because more eyes are seeing what you have to offer. And so there'll be more demand for it. Somebody in our, in our team was sharing his testimony with us. And he said he does adverts maybe once or twice a month. And, but, you know, he does it, you know, consistently every month. And he said he makes sales of almost half a million just from these adverts because people keep coming. The demand increases. People are in his DM. This thing you just talked about, tell me more about it. Of course, in, in the internet, you have the good, the bad, and the ugly. You have the people that are serious. You have the people that are, are not serious. They are just coming to your DM to disturb you. Some will even toast you. See, I like your picture. Tell me, you know. So all those things are part of it. So you will remove the rubbish and then you pick out the serious ones and, you know, do your business. So promotional adverts increase demand without question. Demand for your product, demand even for your business opportunity will increase. Brand visibility. When you do promotions, your brand becomes more visible. Remember that each and every one of us FBOs are brands. We are a brand as an individual. And our company, of course, is a brand that is incomparable in terms of quality and in terms of, of um, solving problems, okay? So your brand becomes more visible when you do sponsored adverts or promotional adverts. I'm, get, I'm getting to the end of this, okay? And then another advantage is that your brand, it gives you brand differentiation. What is brand differentiation? Is a process through which a company identifies and communicates the unique qualities and characteristics of its brand. So it sets you apart from your competitors. Doing these adverts helps your brand to be differentiated. That's your unique selling point becomes more more visible that unique thing about your brand becomes more visible to uh, to so many people to see remember i said before that you have a unique audience on social media all of us have our own unique audience and the sky is big enough for each and every one of us to thrive okay so you are able to differentiate yourself you are able able to show your own uniqueness when you do sponsored and um, promotional ads. Finally, it builds brand reputation. You begin to have a reputation and that, that's what in social media lingo, it calls following, it followers or following. Your reputation shows with your followers, the people that follow you, the people that you have built like and trust. You know, there's some of these people they call influencers. They start by entertaining people or by giving information or by sharing some value. And then when they've done that and people have begun to like them, people have begun to follow them, people have begun to, to trust them. They, are, they have built a reputation from this they are influencing that they're doing. Next thing they do is they start selling products. Some of them will make t-shirts and say, come and buy my t-shirts. Some of them will say, ah, now cream, they sell low. You know, so once you build a reputation, whatever it is you're selling, people will buy into it. And you know, at the beginning, at the, the slide before, when I talked about you being a brand, you know, people buy you first as a brand and then they will buy your products. So this social media we're talking about, try and build yourself as a brand on social media. When you come on there, you do a post, you do a video, show yourself as somebody that has an authority in what they are saying. So make sure you know what you're saying because there are a lot of intelligent people there that are going to be listening to you. Make sure you know exactly what you're saying. Do your research, come out there, say what you're saying with confidence, with boldness, and say it correctly, okay? That way you build a reputation. And when you've built a reputation, it will be also easy to, to, you know, to sell your products. 
All right. So my final slide says everything can be learned. Open your mind to learn, practice, and master. So people say, I don't want to be out there. I don't want people to see my face. I don't want people to know me. You know, everything in this life can be learned. Everything can be learned. Once you open your mind, you will learn. And then you start to practice and master what you've learned. I put a website or a link on the slide here. I would like us to just write it down if we can. This link will link, take us to uh, a link on Facebook where they teach people how you can do ads. And in fact, they teach you there on so many things you can do on Facebook to promote your business. Okay, so giving you these slides and I've also given you this link, which can help you to practically begin to learn and practice. Learn and practice. And the only way you can get to mastery is by constant practice. It's okay to make mistakes at the beginning. It's okay to not get it right all the time. I always say to people, how many people are even getting it right all the time? Everybody is learning. Even those ones you think are perfect. Some of them, when they finish what they are doing, they'll say, now, wow, I didn't try you. Everybody will say, eh, that thing you did was awesome. It was great. Say, eh, did I make sense? Did I? In their mind, they've not even achieved anything, but people are looking at them like they are, they are on top, which goes to show that everybody is learning. Everybody is, nobody is sure of, any, of, of everything. Nobody is perfect. We are all learning. So you don't ever look down on yourself and feel, ah, I never, I never reach you, I, I never reach where they did. No, that, that one you have, start with it. You know, somebody once said, a thousand good intentions can never equate one action one action so take action take action today don't wait until you have everything until you're perfect or don't feel uh, you know i really desire this thing i really I, I i envy people i admire people that are doing it i intend to do it one day no take action now start from where you are i always tell my my team members if it's only one product you even know and you can master sell just that one product Know everything about that one product and concentrate on selling that one product. We've heard of FBOs that sold only one product. You know, I, I don't know which country they said that they banned their country, had so many uh, policies that didn't allow for them to bring in all forever products. So they just had few, a handful of products to, to sell. This country is even the number one in their region. So you see that it's not a function of having everything. It's not a function of when all the resources are in your possession. It's a function of you learning, practicing, and mastering with the little one that you have. So I will stop my presentation here in case we have questions. But if you didn't gain anything today, please consider how you can learn how to promote your business digitally. I assure you that if you are chasing one now, with digital promotion, you will chase a thousand. Thank you.